Hello, welcome back to Blender Studio Live. Today I want to talk about concept art uh, creations using AI and our topic will be uh, Kamen Rider or the Mask Rider. You might be more familiar with uh, Power Rangers. They are actually kind of belonging in the same categories but the one I'm talking about is the, the old school Kamen Rider and then the more recent one. They are kind of like a characters, you know, like uh, inspired by bugs, insects, and uh, I think the Japanese designers made uh, all kind of different design of Kamen Rider. By now, there are probably too many Kamen Riders um, in terms of design, and you can actually make <clears throat> make your own design. Um, my friend the other day uh, posted. An, an image. This is uh, his illustration. His name is Daddy Christian. He's very talented, uh, and he made this concept of Mass Rider. It's like, yeah, it's not a full body. It's, a, it's it has a lot of details. Maybe some influence from Power Rangers. Maybe uh, Saint Seiya as well, old school anime. And I decided, okay, maybe we can kind of colorize this using AI. And I was using this. Petalica, uh, Petalica paint the other day uh, you can upload sketches and it's gonna try to colorize it so it's kind of does the job it's becoming more purplish it's becoming a little bit like Power Rangers Kamen Rider all together so I just passed it into um, AI tools like uh, stable diffusions diffusion B <clears throat> and also uh, playground AI so this is what I got okay so there's um, an option kind of like a weight that you can control so whether uh, if you prompt it like Kamen Rider full body you know like all the cool stuff that you can think of you can tweak it so it's more towards your prompt or it's more like the original uh, reference image which is which was created by my friend Diddy and so this is the result. It's all pretty random. None of them is the same. It cannot really maintain the design. You probably want to have like the original design clo as close as possible. But yeah, let, let, let me show you. If we, okay, this is just an example. If you just prompt it Kamen Rider and with cinematic dimension or whatever, it's gonna try to create it based on that look. This one with Kamen Rider standing full body, yeah, it creates some things probably not full, not as you want, unless you use like a reference image. So I will be using <clears throat> this one. Uh, let's see, copy, I actually just switch this to stable diffusion instead of DALI. And we're gonna use image to image. Let's grab this. Okay, this is gonna be the reference. This is the image strength. I recommend you to go 50% or go higher to, to be closer to the original image. So I'm just gonna say Kamen Rider standing full body. Kamen Rider, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Maybe 50-50, 50%, create, generate. It's adjusted the image dim uh, dimension for you and yeah we get the design it's pretty close to the original design you can make it four times keep the image private for now Kamen Rider is <clears throat> you can also specify Power Ranger in full suit okay sometimes it's activated uh, I think certain design cannot be created using playground AI somehow, so unfortunately, but here's the here's the output so far. I can I can make it for example closer to Daddy's drawing, seventy or sixty-eight percent. If I mix it 
Kamen Rider Power Rangers in in one word, it's going to try to recreate that look. So it's uh, still looking like a concept art. It's using the color as well, and it's got some details. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Sometimes, sometimes the uh, the design is looking on to the side. Maybe we should say looking at camera, and then this time I'll, I'll turn on delicate detail. With delicate detail, it's gonna add more wordings and prompt to the design, like. Greg Rutkowski, etc. And you're starting to get something. It's still looking like the there is concept art. If we like a certain design, we can actually reuse that. For example, if I like this one, because I like the eyeballs there, I will just use it as image to image. Now it's gonna start using this image and I will reprocess it. So as we continue to diffuse or infuse this kind of prom ideas and the AI will work it out it's gonna start to keep adding stuff adding details uh, so let's keep generating so four generation generations each time I believe the free version of playground can generate 1000 generations so this one is actually a little bit further and further away from the design I actually I actually quite like this for example but I, ju I just want a little bit of infusion from the prom so I will do that delicate details we can use neon mecha and try you can of course keep playing around with the playing around with the prompt uh, and try to see if whether you like it or not see oh, it's starting to look like a little bit of power rangers and a little bit of kind rider this this the design of <laughs> this scarf has become like a wings somehow so this is yeah it's becoming more like power rangers maybe i should get rid of power ranger kind rider we can actually say insect inspired design so it's still it's still using the the last reference image and let's see neon mecha last illumination radial symmetry might work so with the insect design it's gonna start to looks totally different Looks like very cyber, very modern design. It's not cyberpunk. Okay, yeah, it's starting to look pretty weird. I also have uh, an example here using image to image and robo diffusion, which is a like a specialized model. Um, this is some of the design. Some of them looks pretty random so this one i made it so it's closer to daddy's uh daddy's christian's design this let's see it's still looking like a concept art but probably it's a good idea to keep it like a concept art and then use this as the base for your 3d actual design inside blender Yeah, this is actually overnight. I think I produced maybe almost 100 different concepts. If you act, uh, if you actually want to make yourself a design, let's try something. Okay, Five, this is in Blender. Create a new 2D animations. You get this canvas. Let me change the dimensions okay i want to make standing file save as this is for concept art right Kamen Rider. you can use 3d but in this case you can just doodle in in 2d okay let's see i will i'll make it 
really uh, really rough I'll use this pencil even like ink okay I'm gonna try to design my own Kamen Rider or something I'll turn on mirror because the design can it's based on a bug right so you can create something and starting maybe with the helmet I don't know it's gonna be pretty random think of your favorite bugs and we're gonna design the character based on that maybe with antenna Start. continue with the armor and here yeah, the body I know it's gonna be rough and with the Kamen Rider usually it has this the belt it has belt uh, which kind of like kind of like a mobile phone but the belt give is the source of the energy of some sort yeah I, I turn on mirror I think the mirror is should be a good way to go my bugs come and write a design will be pretty more more like abstract I, I like the like a brush kind of ink uh, a little bit of kind of like a Kim Jung-gi I'm a scribbler I like drawing with ink Yeah, so this part is rough, but anyway, the, the character need some kind of shoes. Okay. Yeah, the design is super, super rough, but you get the idea. It's inspired by bug. Okay, maybe not too much there. The shoes can have something that's a little bit more solid. In this character yeah but it's like a like human muscles and insects together and maybe I can can I apply this yes oh okay cannot be applied in what oh anyway don't worry I just want this for now screenshot <laughs> And then send it to Petalica Paint because we need to make it more abstract, you know, for for the AI to do the job. Upload. Wait a few seconds and let's the AI do the magic. It's gonna be our concept art. Look, okay, it's done. Download it. Playground AI. Back to stable diffusion get a new image boom okay if you I think it's not bad with the same prom generate Kamen Rider it actually understand the Kamen the word Kamen Rider we should maybe say like mask rider or something oh you request activated the API Ugh. yeah I don't like that I don't like that too much you know Mask Rider Mask Rider Looking at camera in I doesn't like it. Mm. It's kind of sucks that sometimes it does that. If you're doing it using diffusion B, you might have better luck because there is no censorship with diffusion B. Let me try image to image. Same prom. It's gonna take four minutes at least on this guy. Oh man, seriously, this one keep giving me activating like safety filters or oh. mask rider in full body suit. Let's try this. Come on, you can do it. <clears throat> yeah, it's weird that it's keep 
rejecting my design maybe it's I don't know what's wrong but this guy might work highly detailed by Greg Rutkowski let's generate something input <coughs> input strings 0.4 let's try Mask Rider inspired by insect standing looking at camera. You can actually get some maybe inspiration from Lexica. Search for Power or oh, not Power Ranger Kamen Rider. There you go. Face like grasshopper, that's cool. That's a cool prompt. Let's try this 50-50. Fingers crossed. If it's still rejecting <coughs> the design, it's just <coughs> a little bit too much. Yeah, we re re request activate it to safety. This is not, this is not very good. Yeah, it's keep on failing. This one might work. I'm a little bit sad with this actually. Maybe we should try Dream Studio. Dream Studio, image to image. Okay, let's try image. Upload an image. Let's make this happen. Okay. The width and the height. Okay, we need to adjust this. Okay, image strings. 50% image strings. Dream. Go and make a dream. This one, you see, Fusion B might work. Playground AI disappoint me a little bit with, I don't know. Kamen Rider character Y, its face. <sighs> okay, this one is working. Um, yeah. Let's try input strings of yeah zero point four is good. Create four different image based on that design. Okay, cool looking robot. Uh, cool looking bionic robot inspired by insect standing full body looking at camera generate it should work it's if it's still failing it's kind of sad this one this one is also blurred out i wonder if it's because because of the promise being censored once again Yeah, this one somehow keeps on failing. Okay, it's finally working. It's more like a robot now. It's a. I I don't I don't mind it. It's actually. It's looking pretty cool. It even though it's 
it's not supposed to be a robot it's more like a, like a power rangers power rangers wearing armor full body looking at camera last illumination illuminations okay let's try make this closer to my design and see this is not bad but it's more this is more like a robot while our character is supposed to be like a like a guy wearing suit and a helmet like power rangers yeah this is starting to to be a little bit more like what i want yeah sometimes we it's really weird it's really weird with playground ai sometimes it's a uh, kind of like censoring things too aggressively dream studio yeah see it's censoring some of the stuff it's still creating similar image which is pretty cool yeah starting to works <laughs> proportionally this looks funny should specify something that's a little bit better with the prompt this is all right it's getting better because I'm using Power Rangers right so if I reduce this it's gonna try to use its own dream maybe I should say perfect figure proportion so it's gonna try to blend it power rangers uh, yeah it's looking more like a robot however dream studio let's try the step is 50 number four Using stable diffusion 1.5 image strengths increase the strength okay okay dream yeah it shouldn't use like a robot so Let's see if we can we can find something better as a prom. Kamen Rider, yeah. Kamen Rider R RX. Kamen Rider RX is actually one of the most famous design of Kamen Rider. So this guy over here, he can morph into different design. It's very simple, right? But it's also looking really cool each one of them is more like water it's just i i forgot the, the story but anyhow anyhow this is the final form yeah it's starting to look like what i want um image strings of 43 percent so it's kind of blending this design and uh, the final look look if uh with the diffusion B for example and then I want to use the same kind of prompt paste it there um, this one is more like robots now but I really like one of these design is looking pretty cool so I will reuse this and then just pass it once again into the prom make it delicate details 
Yeah, hopefully this works. This is what I do. This one, this one running online, it's faster. This one is slower, no censorship whatsoever. The design might be completely different. Okay. So it's getting, it's getting there. It's a, let's keep generating something. Let's try masterpiece or realistic or Spielberg. This part actually with the coloring, you can use like watercolor and try to paint it yourself. And the design can definitely evolve over time. <laughs> it's starting to look like a robot again, but still maintaining like a Kamen Rider's look. Wasteland and cinematic. This is all kind of filters, just additional prompt on top of whatever you have. Uh, sometimes a certain prompt, if you're really lucky, will give you like a like beautiful design. Okay, yeah, this one. Kind of adding the painting. My prompt need, need to be improved. So let it dream once again. Okay, yeah, it's starting to look like a actual Kamen Rider design, even though it's like a chibi, like a chibi because the like character is like a short, so <laughs> proportion can be improved. But I, I quite like this one. Yeah, portrait of Kamen Rider helmet, majestic solemn Kamen Rider RX inspired by grasshopper reduce this delicate details generate let's try something else my royalistic masterpiece spielberg 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 probably the design yeah it's more like a like an alien design. There's one character uh, that I really like, Rocketeer. It's like it's also a, like a mask rider. It's about this character wearing a suit and rocket backpack, and then yeah, it's really famous back then. I can perhaps says Rocketeer instead of Kamen Rider RX I'll, uh, just gonna say Rocketeer inspired by Grasshopper make it Spielberg like with delicate details this one looks cartoony because we didn't specify we didn't specify anything here that's kind of making it realistic see highly detailed by Greg Rutkowski that's always Kind of work. It's really weird. Highly detailed by Greg Rutkowski because of the, I think, Greg Rutkowski keyword will add some kind of lighting. So with the Rocketeer, we get something that's a little bit more cyberpunk. So it's a little bit strange but also kind of appealing kind of like a different time rocketeer yeah it's starting to look like more like a robot diving suit but the Kamen Rider design that I quite like is I think my favorite so far is maybe this guy this guy is good the one that looks like a it's wearing glasses and a little bit a little bit more like a like a bugs portrait of a man in suit uh, 
I forget. Ultraman. Portrait of Ultraman, but I need to be careful with the image strength. See, I, I always forget the Ultraman. With Ultraman, it's full body suit. With Kamen Rider, it's uh, the character is actually wearing a helmet. <laughs> this one is cool. It's really cool. Like some of the design is like unthinkable unless you saw it. Dream Studio is blocking the design. Maybe I ran out of credits. It's uh, don't worry about that. Ultraman design. It seems to be suitable. Ultraman, Kamen Rider, and Power Ranger. So, maybe it's gonna fail. Radiant Symmetry. Yeah, some of the des uh, these designs is starting to look like a, like a modern Ultraman. Which is, uh, I don't mind it, but I like the old school Ultraman as well. The, this is the cyberpunk. <laughs> I really like it. some of the design. I think I, I'm gonna save this. Uh, okay, so I guess I, that's pretty much I want what I want to say. So symmetry. If you use Blender, start with something like this. Uh, you can try randomizing it using noise put this before the symmetry so this is gonna add some more interesting design maybe I don't know and then from this take a screenshot pass it into Catalica paint and then see what the AI can dream for you or use your own imagination I think still best to use your own imaginations but take a look at this design this one is some of them looks like uh, one of the Pixar character like the the bad guys it's old school old school cyberpunk diving suit yeah I think it's hopefully this is inspiring I mean the whole process is what I like about AI there's a lot of things that you can do uh, with AI but this is one of the ideas okay make your own uh, Kamen Rider hopefully you find it useful thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye